welcome back to another vlog if you are new to my channel my name is Maddie I thought today I would film a night routine for you guys but also just like a night vlog because obviously I just got Starbucks and I do not do that every single night it's currently 3 23 so it's not quite nighttime yet but I'm gonna start the vlog off here because I will be going to the grocery store after this to pick up stuff for dinner and I'm gonna be making dinner for my parents tonight as well but I'll show you guys what I'm making and stuff like that when the time comes but I just got Starbucks like I said I got the grande sugar cookie almond milk latte I didn't know if you could get it hot because it says like iced on the menu but I got it hot and it's in the Christmas cup it's so hot so hot but so good but yeah, I feel like I haven't filmed a like morning routine or night routine for you guys since I was in college. So I thought I would update you guys on what my routines look like now that I am saving up money and living with my parents. That's a whole nother discussion, but I am looking to move out soon. I want to go apartment shopping in Charlotte, but I'll definitely make another video about all of that. But for now, I am going to Harris Teeter to pick up some stuff to make dinner. Okay, back secured. I got grilled chicken, jasmine rice, tzatziki, avocado oil spray, and that's it. So for tonight, we're making um, like Mediterranean bowls, you could say. Um, so I'm just gonna make some grilled chicken breasts and then put it in a bowl with rice, cucumber, avocado, um, tzatziki, and then I'll probably have some hummus as well. But yeah, that's what's for dinner. Okay, I'm gonna start making dinner now. It is currently 6.07. The main thing you need is just chicken breasts. And I'm gonna be following a recipe from this girl on TikTok that I followed for like ever. Um, her name is Sammy Purr, I think. Hold on, let me clarify. I'll show you guys. This is her. And she has this Juicy Chicken 101 um, like recipe. And I'm going to make it because it looks so good. Hopefully it turns out okay because I'm also making dinner for my mom and dad. So first we're going to prep the chicken. Oh my god! Guys, look at that. So I have to set an alarm for five minutes. And then she said after five minutes on this side, flip it over and then put it in the oven at 400 for 13 minutes. So while I wait for the chicken, I'm gonna cut up the cucumbers, tomatoes, and cook the rice. But since I am making four chicken breasts because there's three of us, um, it's gonna take like double the amount of time. So I'm gonna have to put both of them in the oven for 13 minutes. So it's gonna be some time before we eat. It is currently 6.31, so it's not too late, but I hope this turns out good because I'm not the only one eating it. These are my favorite cucumbers to get. They're the mini cukes. I think they taste honestly better than the big ones, which I know that doesn't make sense, but I don't know, it just does. So we got an onion, tomato. Oh. Turn it down, please. Oh, good. Thanks for cooking for us, honey. Mm
So this is just the one I got. It's super quick and easy. Please look at how juicy this chicken is. Here's the final product. Obviously we haven't like plated it yet, but I'm gonna let those cool off and I think we have plenty of chicken right here, but you coming? It's dinner time. That's delish. So we have rice. We're also using tzatziki and hummus. So this is the final product. Cucumber, tomato, rice, hummus, tzatziki, onion, and chicken. And then I'm gonna have a poppy, of course. Okay, I know the lighting is horrible, but I am currently going for my post-dinner walk. It's usually just about a mile. I like walking to the end of the street and back and finishing my poppy. Um, I just feel like this really helps me digest my food and not feel like so icky before going to bed. I don't know, I just enjoy it a lot. And it's like perfect out right now. There's like just the amount of breeze, but I'm gonna stop talking to you guys now because I know you can't see anything. <laughs> I just got out of the bathtub and now I'm going to moisturize and wash my face and get ready for bed. I am currently out of my favorite lotion so I've been using this one until I have time to go get another one. It's just the Soap and Glory The Righteous Butter. This one smells really good too but I prefer the um, Mario Badescu. <laughs> So annoyed I left my makeup remover at one of my friends house in Virginia so and I would just go buy a new one but it's not the cheapest and it's like a full bottle like I just got it I've only been using it for like a week but I've noticed like the biggest difference in my skin while using it I recommend it so much that I'm literally going to put a picture of it on the screen here so that you guys can try it I really do think that makeup wipes were the reason for a lot of my breakouts so I'm not going to use that tonight because I don't like them anymore. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to use this Clinique um, Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This stuff always stings the crap out of my eyes, but I mean, it's better than makeup wipes in my opinion. My bun's not even like in. All right, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> it's so bad. And then for face wash, I just used this Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash. I've been using this stuff for probably two years now. I love this stuff. You can just get this on Amazon. It's the best toothpaste ever if you want really white teeth, like I, I promise you. Okay, I just did a face mask and put teeth whitening strips on. That's why I have a lisp, but I just use the Crest 3D Wipe um, Dental Whitening Treatment. I don't like using these every week. I usually use them like every three weeks, I would say. But I do have another like hack for white teeth. I brushed with hydrogen peroxide. I just have an extra toothbrush put aside that I dip into a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and I brush. Obviously, I don't swallow it. And then I swish for about a minute, spit it out. That does wonders as well. And for the mask, I'm just using the Generation Clay Mask. This is the Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. I also just realized I didn't show you guys what moisturizer I use. This is just the Drunk Elephant 
Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I've been obsessed with this ever since I started using it. Like, look. And then this is the eye cream that I use. It's just the Algenist one. So that's all for skincare. I feel like my skin's been okay recently other than those two pimples. This is like my favorite part of the entire day, honestly. I used to love mornings, but now nighttime is like my time, I feel like. I am probably just gonna sit in bed and watch some YouTube and drink my bedtime tea, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, look. But I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video. That wraps up my nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.